Okay, friends. I'm always trying to get the best angle, so inevitably the beginning of my stream involves an opportunity to participate in seeing my setup or watching me try to get my setup done. So this morning I want to, I'm going to move this back, raise this up, oh, I can see that I need to move my camera a little forward. Luckily this little thing I'm using for my stand is very tight, but then that means it's hard to adjust. Okay, so I'm on Twitch so that I can easily download my videos to YouTube. So what we're going to do this morning is clean up some of this thread because... I use this table for my wreaths, and when I'm treating the wreaths, I'm trimming threads, and then the threads get into my crochet, which it's not a big deal. It's just not a great presentation. Okay, so there's that. Um, I don't need this. This is my scrubology thread or yarn. Don't need that. I do need my music music so let me set this up over here I've got it all charged up So today I'm going to be starting with crocheting and I'm working on a pair of slippers. Today my projects that I need to finish are a commission for a pair of slippers. It's a pink pair of slippers. It's going to be a size six and a half and the slippers include a range. So I would make sure that the size result includes six and a half. Um, so each pair of slippers is made to fit a three size range and that's because they do stretch. So here is a pair that's finished. Oh, I forgot to turn on my light. That's better. So I still have a little bit of shadows cast, but that's not a big deal. Um, so you can see the slippers stretch. So the size range will be six, seven, eight. I did learn there is a size conversion chart. So the length of a person's foot can easily be c converted to a shoe size. These are unisex slippers. So um, I will mark the size with um, the men's and the women's US shoe size and how that is determined by the foot length. So what I can do is I crochet it with the size in mind, but then when I'm finished and ready to add the size tags, I will measure the slipper and then this pair is on the smaller size. So I would mark these as a size five in women's because it's actually only measuring seven and a half inches. So I would go ahead and mark those as a size five. And the customer will always have my contact information. So if there's any um, discontent, they can easily reach out to me 
customer service, especially in home homemade goods, it's very important. You want to make sure the customer is satisfied. And if for some reason there's some kind of a, an issue, then um, the customer can reach out to me. Okay, we're going to do one more adjustment. I want to... There we go. So my studio is a pretty small area. So try to make the most of it. These are just tools of the trade. This um, pair of slippers is going to be um, 8, 9, 10 size range. And that is in a ladies slipper. So if it's a ladies 8, 9, 10, then it would be equal to a men's 6.5, 7.5, 8.5. So if you're ever interested in seeing any other content, I do have a link in bio that will lead you to my email address, my shop, my YouTube, TikTok, everything. I do try to post content on all the platforms because I am trying to get my shop name out there and get some sales. I am also working on finding another uh, 40 hour a week job. If it doesn't work out, then I'll be looking for part time. You know, this table, of course, happens to have a funky little snag and my yarn keeps getting caught. Um, anyways, so the link is on my YouTube. It's in, oh shoot, I forgot to check my Twitch, but um, if you go to, hmm, maybe I did check my Twitch. No, I think I checked my YouTube. But, but anyways, my I try to keep my name consistent. Um, and for sure, this is my shop website. So you can always reach me there. The slippers are available for sale. You can order whatever color you want. You can even... Like if you're not sure what color or you want two-tone color, then, you know, you can always email me. If you're not even sure what size of slipper you wear, you could measure your foot and I can make the slipper according to the measurement of your foot. And then um, how that works is you measure your foot and then, um, so what you would do is measure across like the ball of your foot, you know. <clears throat> the widest part of your foot and then the very tippy tip of your toe to your heel and then um, you would email me and say I would like to order a pair of slippers here is my zip code for the shipping uh, estimate if you order multiple pairs I can offer either discounted, <clears throat> excuse me, discounted shipping or free shipping. I like to work with my customers because um, shipping can add up. So I do want to offer um, a bit of a break. International shipping is going to be another um, subject. So if you are international, then we can still talk um, and I can give you the shipping quote before we ever get into contract, you know, like a commission for the slippers. Um, because it, it can be shocking if you, if you say, yes, for sure, I want the slippers, but then shipping is $20. I mean, that that's going to be a little unreasonable for some people. I, I mean, for most people. So, um, let's say you and this is just aside from international just you know you can ask for a quote on the shipping but just in general if you would like to order the slippers then that would be a prepaid project so 
you would uh, let me know that you want to order slippers and then um, give me your zip code, your foot measurement, etc. I can send you an invoice and you can pay the invoice and then I will um, give you a estimate on turn time when I send the invoice and how your project will align with other projects and then um, once the invoice is paid then I can uh, add you to the project list. If it ends up that that is too much money then you can either message me back and say I, I can't do it right now or I automatically consider no response as no order. You're, you're not obligated to pay the invoice just because it shows up. There's lots of reasons that a person may not be able to proceed with the project. Something came up. Life happens day by day, you know. One day you want to order the slippers, the next day something happens that's going to impact your budget. So, so this pair of slippers, the yarn color is mustard. I am loving this yarn. This yarn is, and, and I get my yarn from everywhere. Michael's, Joann's, Hobby Lobby, um, Walmart. Um, you can easily feel the quality when you're reviewing the yarn and purchasing the yarn. So uh, I can become familiar with the different brands and then decide if that's what I want to include in my production. If it feels inferior, then I would not include it or I would price accordingly. But I'm, I'm not trying, I want to have a sturdy yarn that is durable and comfortable for the slippers. Now the, another nice thing about these slippers is it's one piece of yarn. So you're not going to have lumps and bumps and knots that you're walking on. Let me adjust this just a tiny bit more. There we go. And then I will be adding this video to my YouTube. So I might um, see, I'll set the timer and then take a break about every 30 minutes and then perhaps switch over to TikTok as well. Um, downloading the videos from TikTok is a little more tricky, but what I will try to do, and, and um, the limit right now on YouTube is uploading only in 15 minute bits. So, it, it's because I've just started adding content. So YouTube wants to make sure I'm not a robot. I tried to do the verification and it wasn't working. Some face scan thing. So you can do a face scan, you can upload a copy of your ID, or you just wait for the natural process of adding content for two months and then they verify you. That, I'll keep trying to do the face scan. Um, and the face scan, the purpose is that they do a 30 second video and then that is supposed to validate that you are a person, not a robot. Oh my gosh, I love this yarn. All right, let me count my rows here. Okay, this is my five five rows marker. This is a paid pattern, so that's why I'm not telling the exact steps or row count or anything. This is a paid pattern from Chibi We Crochet. I will show you her. And I have notes on this pattern, but you can see how it's going to turn out. So you can look her up and see if you are interested in making the slippers. But if you do not crochet, then I am happy to make it for you. You, you can contact me through my website. There is an email address there. You know what 
I should do is put another marker at row 10. That way I'm not always keep counting. Oops. Keep counting all the way back to the beginning or from the five. I could go live on YouTube. I wonder how that works. I'm not afraid of tech and I can pick it up pretty quickly. I'm just trying to maximize and get my market name out there because I the whole well so there's a few purposes. One, I love to create so I can't have everything I create just laying around my house. I also can't gift everything to my family because who needs like 20 pairs of slippers, right? I also create using my sewing machine and my embroidery machine. So I have a large variety of different things that I've created. So um, I do local markets, but I need to uh, sell the things I create to get more supplies. So now that I have been laid off from my regular job, I need to leverage this into more of a money maker. So I'm trying to ramp that up a little bit. Um, but I like hanging out on live. I'm going to be creating anyway, so may as well do it to an audience rather than just sitting and jailing in front of the TV, which I still do that. Still have family time, etc., etc. But during the day, I'll be doing my job search and creating. Let's put a marker at the 10 row mark and get a sip of coffee. Okay, let me, I'm going to go ahead and end the live here. I'll be able to upload this and then continue with part two.